So I lead the quantitative equity team at CPP Investments. We're part of the uh, systematic strategies group, and we manage a number of equity, long, short, and long only strategies. CPP Investments is the largest pension fund manager in Canada. And so it's certainly been a really great year in terms of quant equity uh, performance. And uh, the traditional risk premia have done very well. We've seen strength coming in momentum. We've also seen uh, value doing well, which is sometimes unusual to see both value and momentum doing well. And it's been true across the globe. So in Japan, for example, value has been very strong on the back of some corporate governance reforms. Momentum has also been doing quite well. And I think part of the driving force for that is that the macro environment has been relatively benign and consistent. And so we've had strong growth, pretty low unemployment, inflation is generally coming down, and we have a lot of themes that have been driving investing. So AI is certainly a big one. There's a lot of talk about the Magnificent Seven. And all of that makes for an opportunity for these traditional risk premiums to do well. For pure alpha strategies or machine learning strategies to sort of capture some of that, I think what needs to happen is they should be able to focus on alternative data sets that can capture those macro themes, those macro trends. And so whether that's looking at labor markets or earnings growth or sales growth, if they are able to do that, I think they can sort of catch that risk on behavior. And another uh, area would be if these machine learning strategies can sort of identify the traditional risk premium that are going to do well in the macro environment and, and make those appropriate switches, then that's another way for them to achieve good performance, So, which is challenging.